and welcome to episode two of our KNX Top Tip series. So today I'd like to talk to you about day-night mode. So most motion sensors in the market will operate the same regardless of the time of day. But we've implemented a really advanced day-night mode into our sensor that enables you to configure the motion sensor to operate differently during the day compared to at night. I'm gonna just show you quickly how you can set up this functionality inside ETS. So to keep things simple for today's demonstration, we are just gonna have one function. You can have up to four, but for today, we're just gonna keep it at one because we're focusing on how to configure the day-night functionality. The first thing you need to do is click the plus next to the general menu. This brings down an advanced menu. In the advanced menu, you'll notice at the bottom here, there's this day night mode parameter, which we need to enable. By enabling this parameter, there'll be some additional group objects visible. The first group object visible is this day night mode, um, mode select input. So if you have another server or something else in your system that you wish to use to, to flip-flop the, the motion sensor from day mode to night mode, you can do that using this object. So maybe you've got some like a home server or some other kind of device that's capable of sending out a zero or a one depending on the time of day, this is the correct input to use. The alternative option is to send the sensor the time of day on a regular basis. So for this, you will have to send in into this object, object um, group object number 11, the current time of day. It doesn't have to be that frequent. You could send that maybe once every hour, but what that ensures is that the time of day that's you know, running inside the sensor is kept accurate and it doesn't drift over time. Once you've um, connected this group object to a, 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 a group address that's also containing a group object from a device that's sending the time of day on a regular basis, again, probably some kind of um, server, um, you can come back and you can configure the time of day at which you're gonna transition between day, sorry, night to day, so that's the morning time, so 6 a.m. is the default and between day and night. So 10 o'clock at night is the default. So before six o'clock in the morning, it's gonna be in, in night mode. And between six o'clock in the morning and 10 o'clock at night, it's gonna be in day mode. And then it's gonna transition back to night mode at, at, at 10 o'clock at night. So all we've had to do is set our times that it, it changes between the modes and connected the current time of day input up to our um, server that's sending us the time of day. Right. Now, if we go back to our function, you'll notice the layout is changed. We've now got a set of parameters to configure what it does during the day and a set of parameters to configure what it does during the night. So, for example, we could um, set a timeout during the day of, um, let's leave it at 10 minutes, but during the night, this is in a bathroom for a bedroom. Um, so when you get up during the night to go for, to the loo, you just want that to time out really, really quickly. Um, so that by the time you get back into bed, the, the lights have gone off. So we're just going to set that actually um, to 50 seconds. So there we go. So all we've done is we've um, configured a switching um, object, and this is going to be for some spotlights, with a day-night mode um, that at between the hours of 6 o'clock in the morning and 10 o'clock at night, it's going to have a time out of 10 minutes, and then during the night, between 10 o'clock and six o'clock in the morning, it's gonna have a timeout of 50 seconds. So that's it. Thank you for listening and see you soon. Bye.